in this video, I wanted to show you how you can request an extension on Web Assigns. So if you need more time to work on a homework or assignment or not. Now, I should start at this video and mention that depending on the class or the semester, there might actually be a penalty for doing an assignment late or there could be extra credit for doing the assignment early. Uh, check your course syllabus to see if that applies to you or not. Uh, but whatever those reasons are, this is how we're going to extend an assignment. So when you log on to WebAssign, you'll see a page that looks something like this for which the assignment that the upcoming due date is going to appear on the top. And then this is going to be organized by due dates here on the screen right here. Um, so at the very bottom, there will be a link that says past assignments. Now, if you're very early in the semester, there might be a long list of assignments right here. You might not see this past assignments on your screen. You might have to scroll all the way to the bottom to see it, um, but click on it and it'll bring up all of your old assignments that are now past due. So to extend the assignment, there's two ways really to do it. So the first thing to do is that next to every assignment, there's going to be a link that says request extension for which you'll see a screen that pops up like the following for which there's going to be two options for requesting, uh, requesting extensions here. So there's the manual option and the automatic option for which the automatic option, when you click it, it'll automatically extend the assignment immediately two weeks past the original due date. Now, the problem is if you are already two weeks past the original due date, this automatic extension will be blocked like you see right here, in which case then you'd have to hit the manual extension. You would pick the date that you want to extend the assignment. Let's say I want to extend it until uh, December 12th. Um, you would probably pick a time. You probably want like 11.59 p.m. So we type that in that, like that. 59 p.m. And then you type in the reason uh, something like, oops, you know, I need, I need more time to finish. You do that, you sit, hit submit, and that's all there is to it. It'll then send a notification to me for which you have to wait for me to authorize it, for which I would have no reason really not to. But then I have to wait a little bit of time, especially if you send it when I'm sleeping. You know, I won't be able to reply immediately. So that's how manual extensions work. Uh, they're fairly painless and easy, but since you do have to wait, uh, the best option is to actually click the automatic extension. So like if I looked at homework 58 or 48 right here, this assignment is still fairly new. Um, so you can request the automatic extension because again, we're within two weeks of the original deadline. So you just click on that and then voila, it just extended the due date by uh, two weeks. So it would be due on the 24th of this month. And so that's how extensions work. If you have an assignment open, uh, if you have an assignment that's open and it's already past the original due date, you'll also see the request to hit an extension inside the assignment. So you can do that as well. Now I should mention that once your assignment has been extended, when you come back to the current assignment page, you'll find your extended assignment. So I extended homework 48 just a moment ago. And this thing is organized by the current due date. So if you have an extended assignment that changed the due date, and therefore it might be later down on this list, you'll notice that homework 48 is coming after 49 because these ones are due on the 11th, but this one got extended to the 24th. So if you're looking for assignment, you'll be able to find it there. But even, even if you're not extending an assignment, you can access all of your old homework assignments. You can see all the questions. Here they were. Um, the nice thing about these questions, also, if you need to, you can practice a new version. Uh, you'll notice that these numbers, a lot of the numbers in WebAssign are red. That means those numbers were randomly generated. If you were to practice another version, you're going to get another version of the question with different numbers um, and therefore different graphs. And then you can grade yourself. You can check your work there. Uh, like if we pick this question right here, same thing. Um, we can, not every question of course has uh, a practice another version because this one didn't have any, well, I mean, it does have randomization, but it's not always supported. Um, there are sometimes features like you go take a look in the ebook. Um, sometimes there's other things you could access, of course, like the videos and such uh, that were available the first time you did the assignment. Those are all available now. The readings are there. Um, but if you want some more assistance than what was just available when you first looked at it or practice, um, so another option you can do is you can click view key, um, for which if you do that, if you click on the view key, it'll show all of the answers to every single question in the assignment. Um, see if I can find it. So you can see now that there's the answer. Yeah, the answer key here is visible. Uh, if I were to jump forward in the assignment, maybe something like this one. Like so, you can now see the answers 
that are now present. And there also can sometimes be detailed solutions that you didn't have access to before. So you can see the solutions step by step. Sometimes they're more detailed than others, like on this one. Now I have to caution you that if you ever click the button, view the key, it's important to realize that you have now forfeited your option of extending future homework assignments. You can't extend an assignment if you've exposed the answer key because then you can see what the answers are and therefore it's not an option anymore. So only view the key if you are done with the assignment and you just want it for study purposes. If you're not ready to finish an assignment but you still want to practice, you can use like the practice practice another example which that'll be available like on this question right here we can practice another example. And that way you can use um, the homework as a study tool if you need and only request an extension if it's really you're trying to improve your grade on the assignment.